Hey guys, welcome to a new exciting tutorial about DaVinci Resolve. Today I'm going to add some special effects to this boring clip to make it more cinematic. And here is the final result that we will achieve together. Before we start, subscribe to my channel to stay up to date. I will provide you with new tutorials every week and free epic soundtracks every Tuesday and Thursday. And now, let's get started. On the left side I imported some footage from Footage Crate, which is a great platform for visual effects and much more. The link to Footage Crate can be found in the description below. I downloaded some missile clips and sound effects. This is the clip we want to improve. Now let's add a fusion clip. In this fusion clip we will create the entire composition. Now I'm switching to fusion. Here you can see that my node and keyframe views are already open. You can activate the keyframe view by clicking this button here. Well, let's import the main clip. Here, I rename this clip to background. We need a merge node, because we will be adding a foreground clip that is our special effect. Here I link the output of the merge node with the input of the media out node. Let's add a building. The building is our foreground clip. We need a second merge node between the first merge node and the media out node. Then we connect our building to this merge node. Well, our clip is merged into our background. We add a transform node to resize it. With shift space we open the select tool and type transform. The transformation node is selected and we can see its properties on the right side. Here I make some adjustments to size and position. Now let's add our first missile. What I want is for the missile to appear sometime later. Therefore I move the clip a bit to the right within the keyframe view. As before, I add a new merge node and connect the missile to it. Now we see the black background of the missile. To remove this we will use the Luma Kia node. Not bad, but I think the missile needs a soft glow. I open the select tool and select soft glow node. Let's add the next missile. I'm doing the same thing here as before. I'll add a new merge node and connect the missile to it. To remove the black background I use the Lumakia node. 
and I add soft glow. Also here I would like the missile to appear a little later. Ok, let's add the next missile. To adjust the position of the missile I will use the transformation node. Also here I add soft glow. The procedure for the next clips is the same. I want the sky animated from bottom to top. I have added a keyframe to the Y position. Here I change the speed of the animation within the spline view, which is next to the keyframe. Ok, done. Now let's see the result in the Data View of DaVinci Resolve. I think it looks good. I'm shortening the fusion composition a little. Now let's color grade the whole composition and add the letter box. For that I add an adjustment clip. I select the frame in which the letter box should appear.
Then I change the crop top and crop button property to 139. Let's color grade. Here I choose a lot. Now let's add the dynamic zoom. Here I activate the toggle button. Under the preview window I select dynamic zoom. Here we can make some settings how the zoom should behave. The green box is the starting point where the animation begins and the red box represents the end of the zoom. Perfect! Finally we need the sound effects. To do this we switch to the Fairlight view. Here I add the sound effects uh, I downloaded from the Footage Crate website. At first I add the background music. Here I add the sound effect for the menu. I bring the sound effect to the right place. I also do that for the other sound effects. I put each clip on the timeline and put it in the right place. Done! Let's look at the result. That's it! I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and was able to introduce you to some of the features of DaVinci Resolve. If you want to see more of this kind of tutorial give me a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already done so. Bye bye.